Okay, team, good to see you. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a bit of a lunchtime session, a practice exam question. We're going to have a look at the question, see what they're asking, and then see how we can answer it. So what I've done is I've posted in here into the classroom this particular question here. Uh, you can see there's the first part of it here. So the case study talks about countries sometimes using protectionist policies like tariffs and quotas. And the first part you'll see there it's an, a distinguished question, which means you're trying to work things out. So it says, let me get the highlighter out, distinguish between a tariff and a quota. Now you'll also note that it is a four mark question. Okay, and with it being a four mark question, then the maximum length of time during the exam, then we'd kind of like you to sit to answer this, or to take to answer this, would be about six minutes. Six minutes max. Now if you take a couple of minutes off of that time, so maybe four minutes, then you've saved two minutes. Right? And each additional minute that you've saved, then you're able to bank, hold on to, and use at the end of the exam to go back and check your answers, make sure you've added enough depth, make sure you've answered the correct question, and maybe add a little bit more detail or check, check calculations. Right? It's always a useful thing to do as well. Right, so we're distinguishing between a tariff and a quota. So we're, we're putting a definition for a tariff next to a definition for a quota. That's more or less what we do. And you'll see it's four marks, so it's going to be two and two. Right, so we start with a tariff. Is a protectionist policy. Apologies for my handwriting. It's a protectionist policy. Um, it is a tax on imported goods. Designed to protect, oops, protect local producers of that product. It will raise the price. Of the import, making it less competitive. Now, I can do that, that doesn't take long. Uh, E.g., the tariff on um, solar panels. Right, the U.S. has just done a tariff on solar panels by the U.S. I think, um, I think it's Chinese solar panels, I'm not entirely sure. Right, whereas, because we're distinguishing, we're saying whereas, a quota is a quantity limit on the amount legally allowed to import. Right, so one tax, right, protectionist policy, uh, tax on imported goods designed to protect local producers of that product, it will cause the price of the import, make, raise the price of the import, making it less competitive, tariff on solar panels by the US is the example I gave, whereas a quota is a quantity uh, on the amount legally allowed to be imported. Okay. So you don't really need to do much more than that for that particular question. You've got both definitions in there. I've perhaps added a bit more than you actually need with regards to the tariff explanation. I've got a real life example in there just to add to the explanation. And then I've compared it to the quota. Now the next part is this question here. And it says, <coughs> excuse me. Explain why a country may choose to use protectionist policies like tariffs and quotas. So again, it's this time it's an explain 
and it's explain why, so you've got to give a reason. All right? They choose to use protectionist policies like tariffs and quotas, so you've got to specifically use those. So we've kind of hinted at that already in the answer previous. Um, it is worth six marks. So six plus three is nine, so nine minutes max is how much time you have. All right, so again, if you were to get it to under nine minutes, you'd be able to save some time and add that time to your end of exam re review of your answers, checking calculations even, making sure you've got everything that's needed. A particular focus should be on, have I answered the question given? Right, so this is explain why, and I highlight that a little bit more in depth there, because it's not just explain what, it's explain why you would use it. So it's the purpose that they're wanting to know. Right. <clears throat> so you'd start off with tariffs. Okay. Uh, which are your tax on imports. Right. Are used to increase the price. of the imported good. Good. Making it less competitive in comparison with the locally made substitute. This hopefully encourages consumers to substitute to the cheaper local product. protects local <coughs> employment, local income earned, local, in local incomes, able to be earned, and tax revenue. Paid to the government. All right, so talking income tax, potentially. Maybe also a, um, uh, a possibly a consumption tax as well, although that kind of negates the purpose of the, the tariff being on the other good, because it's going to make them a little bit less competitive in that regard. A quota. Or quantity limit uh, reduces the availability of the imported product. This uh, restriction. protects domestic producers who now have less competition they are able yeah, in an exam, I did lose marks because of my handwriting. Absolutely, all right, and that's something legible, legibility-wise that you might need to think about. Less competition, they are able to uh, make more sales, uh, 
earn more revenue. Uh, protect the jobs. Most obvious one being Steve. Eh, old, old joke about former CEO Steve Jobs of Apple. Uh, protect the jobs and the income tax revenue. All right, for the government. Now, I think that's doable, well doable within that time period. Uh, you might like to add more detail. You might like to add some real life examples. Uh, could add real life examples. If you know of any, All right? They help with the analysis. That's always a good thing. So that's just a quick run through of what is expected or how to break down the questions, looking at the key parts of it, and then at the end you'd go back and check, have I answered it fully? What sorts of time periods am I looking at with regards to the marking, uh, uh, writing of answers, breakdown, sorts of things that are expected within the question, and how you might possibly write them. Now. I'm going to include my answer to this into the classroom so you'll be able to see it. You might not be able to read it because of my handwriting, but that's what you will get. So you'll have both the question, a blank question, and the question with my mocked up suggested answer. Uh, and I'll put the video clip in so that you've also got that. Otherwise, team, thank you very much. Have a brilliant day, and we'll see you next time.